The due process clauses of the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments prohibit the federal government and state governments from depriving persons of property without due process of law. Additionally, as part of due process, persons are entitled to be heard and notified of pending matters affecting their rights. In the 2002 case, Duesenberry v. United States, the United States Supreme Court considered what the government must do to provide adequate notice to a person under the Due Process Clause of a pending forfeiture of property. In April of 1986, Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI, officers arrested Larry Duesenberry at a house trailer in Atwater, Ohio, and charged him with possession of cocaine with the intent to distribute. Following his arrest, officers obtained and executed a search warrant and seized drugs, drug paraphernalia, firearms, a knife, a car registered to Duesenberry's stepmother, and items of personal property. Among the items seized was nearly $44,000 in cash. Ten months later, Duesenberry pleaded guilty in federal district court to the charges and was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. Two years later, the United States obtained a court order authorizing the FBI to destroy Duesenberry's firearms and knife. The FBI also began the process of administratively forfeiting the cash and car. At the time, the FBI could, under certain conditions, dispose of property seized under the Controlled Substances Act, or CSA, without initiating court proceedings. The FBI sent written notice of the pending forfeiture by certified mail to Duesenberry, care of the Federal Correction Institution in Milan, Michigan, where he was incarcerated. In addition, the FBI mailed notice of the forfeiture to the addresses where Duesenberry was arrested and his mother lived. Notice of the forfeiture was also published in a local newspaper for three weeks. When the FBI didn't receive a response, the FBI declared the items forfeited. In 1993, Duesenberry filed a motion in federal district court under the Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure seeking the return of all seized assets. The court denied the motion, and Duesenberry appealed to the Sixth Circuit, which vacated the district court's judgment and remanded the case. Following discovery, both parties moved for summary judgment. The district court found that the government's sending of notice by certified mail to Duesenberry's place of incarceration satisfied his due process rights as to the cash. Duesenberry appealed, and the Sixth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.